Hi guys, it's a very dark day today. It's actually quite early. I have to babysit my grandson today, so I decided I would do the video before I leave. So it's pouring rain, it's quite dark in my room, so I'm hoping that the footage won't be too dark. Today I thought we'd look at some of the Hoyas, and I want to pot them up into the white pots that I used in my previous videos. So let's get started. <music> Hi, my name is Gronia and this is my channel, Jungle of Flowers Canada. Thank you so much for joining me. So I have quite a few Hoyas in these cups here and I want to pot them into these ones that I have been transferring most of my Hoya into. Now I don't actually have enough for all of them, so we'll just pick a couple today and then I'll know how many more I need to order. So I love these little cups here. So I actually have two of these and they are the Archibaldiana Albo Marginata and I love this plant and I love the way an odd leaf comes out kind of curled like this. I don't know if any of you have experienced that shape on your plant but this is quite a pretty plant and its flower is beautiful. It hasn't flowered for me but I am excited about it. Now what you'll notice about this leaf, so it looks, you know, not a delicate leaf, but it's actually way thicker than you would imagine. So I have two of them and I just wanted to double check that they were in fact the same plant, which brought me to just checking out the leaf. I was really impressed by the sturdiness of the leaf. So I am excited that I have two of them. I didn't even know I had two of them so I can pot them up into this pot. Now, could I go a little bit bigger? Yes, I could. But because I keep these in my cabinets, guys, I don't want them to get too big. I love them in there, and my cabinets basically are Hoya cabinets. So I'm, although I do have some large Hoya, and I do love my large Hoya, I reserve the large ones for hanging around my house, and I try and keep these ones small. Um, and they don't seem to object. So eventually they're going to get too big, of course, and at that stage I will propagate. But basically the plan is that for my cabinets I will keep the Hoya relatively small. So I just put the wicking cord in there and then I'm going to get some fresh palm. I have the ingredients for the pond. If you have watched my pond video, you'll know I use a product called Qualizorb. Sorry, I just spilt my tea, um, at, which was available in Canadian Tire, but now you can't get it in Canadian Tire. But lo and behold, you can get it in Napa. So we have Napa here in Canada. They don't carry the same range of products that they do in the States, but they do have the Qualies Orb and it was on sale. So I actually got a big bag of it for $17.99. I will change that in the description of my pond video because I know people have written to me to say they're not able to get the Qualies Orb anymore. So if you're in the States, you should be able to get the Qualies Orb from Napa. I replaced the pumice with Qualies Orb. It's so much cheaper and my plants have loved it. Um, okay, let's dump the old pond out of my way. So her roots are not huge, as you can see there. Um, I may have actually rotted some of them because I forgot to water it. And yes, yeah, some of them are kind of stringy, but the majority of them are okay. I'll just pop that there for the moment. And plant number two, you can see the roots have come out the bottom. Again, this doesn't have a huge root base, so I'm hoping it will be happier in its new pot. It's going through the mesh. Okay, I had to, unfortunately I ripped some of the roots there because they were caught in the mesh. So, let's put this into new pond. The pond does stink. That's the thing after a while, especially in these pots, they do start to stink after a while. I'm just going to use this. And then I will fill these up with my nutrient solution. And this will go back into one of my cabinets. So today is kind of a special day. It's actually my wedding anniversary. 
and my hubby and I are married 37 years, guys. Can you believe that? I can't believe it. It actually went very quickly. I'm like, you know, I, I shock myself sometimes when I realize how long we've been married. I'm very lucky, he's a good man, and I'm very fortunate. Now, we've had our ups and downs like everybody else, but for the most part, it has been a pretty good journey. So there we are, guys. The Archibaldiana Albo Marginata. I think she's such a pretty plant. I really like her. I'm hoping that she will eventually give me flowers because her flowers are stunning. So this plant I got from Tony from Quirky Lemon. I actually had to go searching my old videos because I couldn't remember the name of it. My plan today is to put identification tabs in my plants because this is ridiculous. I never know what anything is. So this here, if you saw my video, which is over a year ago now, um, of plants that I got from Tony from Quirky Lemon, this here is the CV Louise. And I think she was two, a two leaf cutting at the time. You can see that she's put out a nice tendril there. And she's very, very pretty, nice veiny plant. So I'm going to transfer her and then it's actually putting out some new leaves here. But once those leaves come out, I'm going to actually cut this and give a cutting of this to Paula because this is one that she said she likes. So I'm going over to mind my little grandson, as I said today, he is, he just turned a year in August and he is hilarious, but he is a wildfire. I had him here yesterday for a little bit when my daughter went for physiotherapy. I have two dog flaps, now this wasn't planned. I have a dog flap in one door, but then I couldn't use that in the winter, so I put in a different type that I could use in the winter. And in seconds, he was out one dog flap, across the deck and in the other dog flap. Now I do have gates on the deck, so he can't go wandering off into the garden, but he was like a bullet. He was in and out. He is such a funny little guy. He makes me laugh so much. But anyway, that's, was my day yesterday. So I'm going to unpot this. Oh, she has nice roots. And can you see there? I just want to take this. I watered these yesterday foolishly. I shouldn't have, I don't know why. I, what possessed me to do that when I knew I was repotting them today. But there are the roots. So let's pop her in here and we're gonna give her some fresh palm. I should have brought in my Osmocote, shouldn't I have to put some Osmocote in these? I like to put Osmocote in because then if I don't use my nutrient solution, I don't feel so bad. I feel like, well, at least they're getting something from the slow release fertilizer. So I think I'll just pop a little bit on the top because sometimes I'm lazy. I don't have any nutrient solution made and I just get myself a can of water and top them up. So there we have the Hoya CV Louise. Isn't she beautiful? Here we have the Hoya Cori ACA. So I did show this to you before, but it had uh, some growth on it. So I took two cuttings from it and I have the two cuttings rooting, but I am going to move this now into one of my white pots. Uh, these are my little DIY self-watering pots and they have worked tremendously. But once they get established, I really want to put them into these pots here. My self-watering pots are very inexpensive. I got the net pots. I think I got 50 of them for like $15, probably not even $15. And then these are just Dollarama cups that I set them in. So they certainly have served their purpose. But just for aesthetics in my cabinet now, I'm, I'm looking to move to these. Okay, so let's see what kind. Oh, wow, look at her roots. They're lovely. I don't have this cutting that long. So there we are. Nice big roots on her. And when those two cuttings have rooted, I'll put them into the pot with this. So we've nothing planned really for our anniversary. I'll probably just cook a nice meal. I don't know about you guys, but since COVID, I just have lost the interest in eating out. We used to eat out a lot more than we do now. Now I, I, we kind of got out of the habit of going and you know, we do go out once in a while, but certainly not once a week, excuse me. I just said to my husband, you know what, I'd rather go and buy a nice steak and 
cook a nice steak on the barbecue, make a nice salad. So I think that's probably what we will do tonight. We're getting old, right? So there we have the Hoya Coriaceae. Beautiful plant. For the life of me, cannot remember what this is. It might come to me. I will ask Paula and see if she knows what it is. It's very pretty though, isn't it? I'm trying to think. No idea. This is the problem with me. I have beautiful Hoya that I don't know the names of. It doesn't really bother me that I don't know the names of them. I just lo love to enjoy them. I look at them and go, God, they're gorgeous. But, um, this one escapes me completely. Okay, oh wow. Nice roots on this one as well. Let's take off this. This mesh unfortunately does damage some of the roots. If you follow me on Instagram, um, I recently put up a picture of a light that I thrifted. Something else, another hobby of mine is thrifting, especially mid-century modern. I love vintage stuff. And I found this light, I went in with my daughter. We love to go there with my grandson because he gets to pick out a toy and he, it's just exciting. It's like a day out for him, he loves it. And then we walk around, if I see something, I get something. If I don't, I don't. And I would say nine out of 10 times in Valley Village, I get nothing. But occasionally I pick up some beauties and I got this fabulous mid-century modern light. It's a swag light, probably from the 70s. And my daughter was looking at me going, what, what are you buying that for? And I was trying to explain to her that these are very sought after. And if you do watch thrifting, you will know that these carry a, like a very high value. And she was laughing at it anyway. But then I said to her, look, at, just watch people looking in my basket. And people were turning their heads as I walked past them. These are the people that buy to, to sell. I don't buy to sell. But I, I just buy for my own personal use. But like you could see people like looking at my basket and sort of say, damn, I didn't get it. And that's the most wonderful feeling in the whole world when you have something in your basket that you know everybody's looking for. So I was so thrilled. So I set it up in my hall. Kieran rewired the whole thing and I was able to take, there's like a fabric um, cover on it and I was actually able to take that off and wash it in my washing machine on a gentle cycle and I bought a grow bulb for it and I think it's stunning. I'm going to put a photo of it in here. But anyway, I have quite a few items that I have thrifted or bought on Marketplace and if that's something you're interested in seeing, I could just pop some items into my video to show you what I've picked up. Like this here, I, this is one of my favourite pieces. This is an antique printer's tray and there are wine corks in it. And I love it, even my kids love it. We have this running joke in the house that when I die, who's going to get what? And the two girls are like, I want that. So I'm going to have to put in my will who gets what when I die. And I say to my girls, when I die, don't go and get a dumpster and throw all my stuff in it. Some of this stuff is very valuable <laughs> and don't bring it to Value Village. So the plan is that I'm going to put like labels on the back of each thing that's valuable. But anyway, we have a laugh over it. It is funny. It's terrible when your kids are planning what they're going to do with your stuff and your dad, isn't it? <laughs> but I suppose that is life <laughs> in its essence, right? Okay, so let's see where we're going to go to now. So this here, I showed this to you um, in, my, in one of my videos. This here is the Hoya Tequila Sunrise. Isn't she pretty? So I bought this as a one leaf cutting and she did nothing for the longest time. So she's just finally started to put out new growth. So let's give her a little treat and put her into it. So you see, I'm, I've only got three of these plots left, guys. So I'm gonna, oh my God, I have so many plants on the table. You wouldn't believe it. So I'm gonna have to order some more of these. I also will run into a problem of being able to fit them in the cabinets. So some of them that I'm not that crazy about, I might just double up. I have done that before. I double up on um, on Hoyas that are similar looking, have the same similar sized leaves, but ones that maybe are not as popular. I, but I hate to throw anything out. Even if somebody gives me a cutting of something that's not that popular, I still have to keep it and grow it. I, do I sound like a hoarder? So anyway, this is the Tequila Sunrise. Fill this pan here. I, ca I can wash all this pan and boil it and reuse it. 
it depends on how lazy I am, whether I do that or not, but that is definitely an option with Pom, just so you know. So here is the root ball on the Tequila Sunrise. We're gonna pop this in here. I love these little pots, aren't they the cutest? I love the aesthetic they give my cabinets. It's no secret that I love Kevin from Hakuna La Planta. And I, when I look at his Hoyas and how big they are, I think, how does that man do it? His plants are enormous. And I don't think I could ever grow my plants that big. I'm totally in awe of his plant skills. But like I say, these particular ones, I'm not looking to get that. This is, these are ones I just want to keep in my cabinet, but that doesn't mean that I can't appreciate his. They are absolutely jaw-dropping, is the only word. Do you think I would have just organized all of these before I started, wouldn't you? And put in the wicks, etc. So let's get the last two ready. I have to decide what I'm going to put in here. I do have a Hoya undulata, which has been on the struggle bus. Who hasn't had a Hoya undulata that has been on the struggle bus? I had multiple cuttings of this plant and I've lost them. I'm down to my last cutting and you're not going to believe it. She got mealybugs. I couldn't believe it. So she had three leaves on her and now she's down to one leaf. I think I have gotten rid of the mealybugs, but mealybugs are that one pest. You think you've got rid of them and lo and behold, you open your cabinet and there she is. The lone mealybug sitting on the new leaf and you're like <laughs> But anyway, here is my Hoya undulata. One leaf left. I would really like to get a full plant of this. But, oh, look, she's got no roots. At least the ones she has are okay, which is good. But look at that. I've had this for months and months. Now, technically I should probably put her back in here, but I'm going to try her in this new pot. That's not root mealies, is it? Okay. No, I don't think, believe they, they are root mealies. I got a fright there for a second. Is that another mealy there? No, so Dollarama is now selling 90% alcohol. So they used to sell 70%, then they went to 50%. Now they're, they have a 90%. So what I do is I mix the 50 and the 90 together because I'm not sure if 90 would damage the plant. I don't know, but they usually recommend 70% alcohol. So that's what I have been doing lately. So there we have the Hoya undulata. And fingers crossed this baby stays alive because I love that plant. So this is the Hoya Caudata Sumatra and Paula gave me this cutting. I have the regular Hoya Caudata and it, I've had it sitting in my cabinet. It must, be, God, it must be a year since she gave it to me and you can see it's put out, sorry I'm going dark again. You can see it's put out a tendril and there are new leaves coming in it and it's in this kind of cocoa coir mix. So I'm going to take it out of here because I do let it dry out too much. And let's take a look at the roots on this baby. So she has nice roots considering I always forget to water her. Well, not that I forget to water her, but she doesn't, her, the substrate she's in doesn't hold on to water as well as palm. So let's try her in palm. Now I was watching Kevin yesterday and he was saying that you, um, you don't have to remove all the soil off of the roots when you're putting it into palm. So I thought, let's give this a shot and see if that does work for me. There are some coca coir pieces stuck to the roots. And actually, I know a lot of people like using coca coir and like using um, sphagnum moss. I don't. I don't like the way they cling to the roots. I pretty much root everything either in water or palm. They are my two go-tos. Like I do have a lot of plants in soil. Um, a lot of my older plants are in soil, a lot of my bigger plants are in soil, but now I tend to use, for new plants, I do tend to use palm. So let's put this, this is a gorgeous plant. Really, really pretty. I'll show it to you again, and I have added her new palm. Let me just put the cocoa coir on top of this palm, so I guess I'm just going to throw that out now. I'm not going to be picking out cocoa coir to boil 
I do have bags to make new palm, which I've been talking about, I think, in every video. So um, I'm not too concerned at the moment. I love the Caudata. I think she's a beautiful plant. Okay. And if I didn't show you before, these little pots have a water indicator there, which I love. It makes it so much easier. So there we go, the Hoya Caudata Sumatra. So I'm out of white pots, but don't worry, I do have a, um, another pot here. So I showed you this Sonia in one of my videos. It's the variegated one, isn't she beautiful? And I got this in a trade from Dan the Hoya Man from Toronto. It was a one leaf cutting, but look at how nicely she's doing. So I'm thinking, I have a beautiful Adansonii growing up a shutter here in my dining room, but I would love to replace that Adansonii with this eventually. But that one's just doing so well, it's gorgeous. I'm just worried it's gonna to stick to the wall. That's my only concern now, because it's actually gone beyond the shutter, but I'm going to put a picture of it in here now, and it is stunning. But I thought, how amazing would that be if it was a variegated one? So these are self-watering pots. They are not the most ideal because you can't flush the pan. Uh, but I have black and white, and I think I use the black or the white. I might use the white. I hardly ever use the white ones, actually. I tend to use the black more. So let's get this baby out here. And it has this little tray that sits in the bottom. And then it, they came with, here they are, with water gauges. Now, if you can't get your hands on these water gauges, I actually have a video on how to make these very easily. I have my homemade ones in some of my pots and they're still working brilliantly from like two years ago. So if you can't get your hands on these, um, I'll put a link in the description on how to make them. So basically it just has a little float and it tells you when there's no water in the pot. Okay, I bought these actually. These are clips that you put, you know if you have a trailing plant and you want to pin it down into the soil, that's what these clips are for. And I forgot I bought them. And they're sitting in this, in this package here. I have so many large self-watering pots downstairs that I'm not utilizing. I need to utilize them better. I, let's take a look at the Adansonia. So she has great roots. Let's put her out here. Like I say, it was just a one leaf cutting, so that's why I put it in this pot when I got it. It, it wasn't, I don't think, but no, it wasn't rooted when I got it. Let's see, can we get this root out of here without damaging it? So there, look at that beautiful root. So you'll notice the stem is quite short. So I'll probably attach a piece of green tape to the meter, to the water meter, just to give it a little bit of support. So I'm just going to backfill it with the palm. The one that I have here that I'm going to put a picture in of is also in palm. And I think it's actually in the same size pot with one of those homemade self-watering meters. So if I can get a picture of that, I'll show you. And it is thriving. It has been, I haven't even repotted it. It's been there probably two years. And it's absolutely thriving and it's loving palm. Has anyone noticed that fungus gnats are coming back? I don't have anything like the problem I had before, but I am noticing more fungus gnats these days. I used to always keep mosquito dumps in my water. But then I got lazy and I stopped using them, so I'm going to go back to using my mosquito dunks. And I do have a video on an experiment I did on using mosquito dunks, and they definitely eradicated my problem. I can honestly say to you, I got to a stage where I had absolutely no fungus gnats. So for some reason, like I'm noticing them again. Another great way to manage fungus gnats, if you do have a problem, is to use Dr. Doom's um, what's it called? It's called not a fumigator. I'm going to put a picture of it up here on the screen. Now you do have to leave your home. 
This will also kill thrips. It's called Dr. Doom's Fogger. Put on a mask, I usually double mask. If you have any pets, take your pets away. Or if you have a cat that you can't take out of the house, like do sections of your house at a time and maybe lock your cat in your bedroom or lock them in the basement. And you can spray this and they recommend you go out for two to three hours. So just head out shopping and when you come back, any of the fungus, adult fungus gnats that are flying around will be killed. And then use your mosquito dunks in your water and that will get rid of the larva. So I completely eradicated them. None, I had absolutely none, I would say for God, a year and a half to two years. So that's just a little aside tip. So there we have the Hadensonii variegated and this is the Indonesian version. Isn't she lovely? I have loads more potting to do, but I'm out of pots. I'm also probably running out of time because I have to go mind my little man. So on that note, I think we will end the video. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you watched till the end, don't forget to put the green heart emoji in the comments. And thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate you. You guys take care and have a wonderful day.